everyone, Achika here, and it is finally time to announce the winners of Face Off Night of the Living Dead Curator, aka the Halloween contest. <laughs> um, so first, before we get into that, though, I want to thank all the everyone who just made this possible. Honestly, uh, a huge shout out to all eleven contestants. Your bases were beyond amazing especially for the halloween season the, every single one of them was a complete joy to tour and i mean that from the bottom of my heart um you guys absolutely crushed it i think this was the closest base off so far um and the hardest to judge so you guys probably saw me running around your bases like crazy this week <laughs> i honestly didn't even get to play the game too <laughs> <laughs> too much uh because i was i was going back and forth and trying to judge things um to give you guys an idea um i have a rubric that i use for base off for the judging like a, a number system based on um all the stuff that i put in the forum post um that i grade your bases on basically like um it's a one through ten scale for creativity craftsmanship logic storytelling aesthetics and then the overall theme which in this one was halloween or uh scariness or spookiness <laughs> i guess i would say um and just again just to give you guys an idea of how close it was uh from the first place winner all the way down to the seventh place winner it was only one point away from the the base before it so it was it was literally like one point between all of those and then the other four were extremely close as well by just a couple of points but like just just that all those were like one point i mean a few of them actually were were tied and i had to go back through and be a bit more restrictive and 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 uh you know in the critiquing process uh to get like a, a finite number but yeah you guys absolutely crushed it and i cannot wait to show everybody your beautiful bases and showcases um over the next few months um yeah like you guys you guys absolutely just crushed it and thank you so much for making my halloween uh super fun too <laughs> i haven't really i love halloween a lot and i haven't really gotten to go out since covid hit uh so just just having something to do with my Halloween and spending it with you guys was was an absolute delight. Which brings me to the next people I want to thank is everybody who showed up on the stream and made it super interactive and fun and just um, just a really good time. You guys are incredible. So thank you again for all the support there. And then of course thank you to all the donors who make base off possible. Like for real, I I'm always extremely humbled by how kind everybody has been on this game. Um, towards this project it's uh you, you guys are the absolute best i have a lot of goodies and and stuff that i've accumulated lots of furniture too of course because i decorate but um you know but you guys really help sweeten the loot pools a lot and help make this thing like possible so again thank you so much for your generosity and uh yeah, just, just a big thanks to everybody, because uh, I can't do this without you guys. You guys make all this possible, honestly, and it's uh, it's always the highlight of my month, or months, I guess it would be, for Base Off. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, just a big, big thank you to that. So, let's get, let's just stop all the, the you know, all the... Well, all the love, I guess, would be and get down to what you guys are really here for, the winners of the contest. Um... So third place was back and forth uh, between uh, a couple of bases, actually three, in fact. And I had to go back and be a little more critical of some of them. Um, and in the end, one of them won out by just a little hair, and that was Revenant's base uh, Spawn's Alley. It took third place. Um, it was just a really well done base. It was, it told the story of Spawn perfectly from coming back to life and being shunned and having to be in like the, the back alleys of the city and then finding his way to, uh, you know, to be taught how to be Spawn in the church and all that good stuff. And then finally, you know, embracing it and being a, you know, a hellish hellish fighter and all that good stuff. I know I'm very, very paraphrasing Spawn, but the pacing of the base was extremely well done. And not only that, but a lot of the use of items was extremely creative. Uh, the broken pipes that I pointed out on stream with the water falling out was a really beautiful touch. Um, the church itself was just really, really great, but the back alley with all the trash and the dumpster fires and the, the tents being tiered so that they look like they were torn up and not as colorful either, so they were kind of like dingy and the uh, 
the Vagabond area, um, the live show um, kiosk with the, with the awning that was used. It was just... I don't know. The use of items was extremely creative. Um, the pacing of the base was really well done, and it told a really elaborate story. So, um, yeah, that was a really great uh, entry, and it took third place <laughs> for the contest. Um, so thank you so much, Revenant, for that, and thank you... Uh, yeah, just thank you. That was a really, really great base. So, <laughs> um, For second place in the competition, it comes with a huge asterisk. Um, so in second place, we have Lady Clay with Crystal Manor. Um, if you guys did not catch the stream or the VOD, and you guys are like, wow, that's a very long VOD, I'm not going to watch that, please, please go to the U.S. server VOD and... Click on the timestamp for Lady Clay's base and watch it because it is incredible <laughs> and what they they put on them and their their friends actually. It was it a completely interactive performative base experience and I can't thank them enough for that. Um, the reason there's an asterisk by this one is because if I could count the performance aspect into the judging for a base, you guys would have been, like, over the roof, like, number one. Like, there's there's no contest. Just the amount of effort that went into what you guys pulled off that night is amazing. You literally made outfits, you used trinkets, you used henchmen, you used deco mode items. Like, it, it, it was a puzzle, and the doors were moving, and it was... It was incredible. I seriously, you guys made my Halloween and like it just my de I don't know. I can't even. It was man. Like I didn't think I could. You you could one up your daily planet base from from last time with the interaction and making a quest line, but you literally made a full on escape room for me to enjoy for Halloween. Uh, and it was it's 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 you guys really seriously. Please go watch the VOD. Just, just that one part, just that one base. It's, uh, and, and on top of that, it's an extremely well done base too. You have the double bookcases with the railing. Uh, both of the archways for the Gothic theme were utilized where you could only like put a little item, you know, like it, it, you could barely put anything up there. Those were utilized. Um, it was just, and it was prom honestly promised like probably the most Halloween based base of the night because it was just had that haunted mansion like almost like a, the, the ride at disney you know like you're the lead up with the roping and and it was just i don't know it was just a really really amazing base in general but so what i want to do for you guys because i really do appreciate the performative aspect but at the end of the day i can't judge that <laughs> i can't judge your base based off that because it's just not fair to the other contestants because some people can't make how late that i stream or uh, they can't, you know, um, it, you know, it's, it's just not viable, um, to, because, you know, if I have to go back and judge the base too, I have to judge the base itself, because you guys aren't there to see it, um, and, you know, it's just, it, it just didn't feel right to count that into consideration, uh, with everybody else, because it wasn't a parameter for judging, um, however, because it was such an enjoyable experience and I just want to thank you for your time and your creativity and just everything. I'm going to contact you and I want to send you and all of your friends who worked on the project individually like all a, a special care package for as a thank you for that um, because it, it really did make my Halloween and it was probably one of the most fun times I've ever had on this video game and I've been playing this game for 11 years. It was incredible so i just want to say thank you to that but um at the end of the day there was one base that edged it out by being just a just a base in general you know what i mean like and i can't uh <laughs> my i just feel like my hands are kind of tied with with that aspect it just it felt like it wouldn't be fit fair and i had to go back and forth and determine if it was fair or not if i could count it but um yeah, I kind of opted for not counting it. But I just want to say that your efforts do not go in vain. I will definitely contact you and uh, we can work something out. So to make sure you guys are definitely uh, rewarded for, for that above and beyond like gold star <laughs> tier performance. So thank you again. So again, for second place, we have Lady Clay with Crystal Manor. And again, go check out the VOD. Seriously, I'm going to link it again above. I'm going to link it twice just to make sure you guys go check that out. <laughs> um... 
So finally, the grand prize of Night of the Living Dead Curator, we have Dead Shock with their base Evil Shenanigans. Um, it was just an absolute treat, that base. <laughs> um, it, it, the use of items in it was absolutely incredible um from the the bar setting you like the outs the exterior of the bar to the interior of the bar all the fun games that are set up for villains to mock all the heroes or even their overlord like components <laughs> it was just very villainy all the little pumpkin i really love the use of the pumpkin torches as flaming pumpkin drinks in the bar to make that halloween setting kind of go off like some flaming cider or something like that and um then you had the underbelly in the back that was just i, I can't i don't know the only way i can describe the space is that it felt fully realized and that nothing was on the chopping block it Everything seemed like it was there specifically on purpose. No area seemed like it was lacking in having certain items. Um, the use of the armories in there was incredible uh, for the outfits to go with all the furniture around it. Some armories were even used to give an aura effect to objects and weren't even used as an actual <laughs> like armory itself um like i'm talking about the obelisk with the new ghost aura flying around it to make it look super spooky and haunted um it's just it's just a really well designed base it's super clean it's super creative and it's just it's super creepy too on top of that <laughs> with all the experimentation and get like a frankenstein's lab kind of vibe in there and it's just i don't know it was really good it really pushed the halloween boundaries the creativity boundaries it had a story to it and aesthetically it was absolutely gorgeous so yes it is our first prize winner for night of the living decorator so that is dead shocks evil shenanigans as your reigning champion <laughs> so again i just want to thank all the winners and all the contestants for making this whole thing possible i will be uh, in contact with the winners to see what kind of prizes you guys want. Um, so watch for that during the next week. Um, and yeah, just again, I just want to say thank you to everyone who participated. All your bases were amazing. And like I said, I will give them full showcases in the next full, you know, the next couple months leading up to, uh, well, I guess the new year. <laughs> uh, slowly but surely. Um, but yeah, so winners expect to be contacted from me in a, in a couple days here over the weekend. And uh, you guys can expect Dead Shocks, Evil Shenanigans, to appear on the channel tomorrow, hopefully, if everything goes according to plan. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so thank you again, everybody. And uh, if you made it this far into the video, I guess I can give you a hint if you didn't miss it on the uh, VOD or the live stream if you couldn't make it there and you wanted a hint for the next base off which should be coming out next Friday I'm hoping if I get all the prizes together <laughs> that's I have the setting like or the set the theming I guess I should say uh, all together but I do not have I just want to make sure I can offer the correct prizes you know what I mean I don't want to promise something that I can't deliver <laughs> so I'm taking inventory basically is what I'm saying it is a huge huge base off it is going to be the biggest one yet and uh, with the biggest prize pool and it's going to be insane <laughs> so the hint that I will give you is the one that I gave you on stream is if you want to start working on your base off base right now you definitely can and it will be a guaranteed entry like there's they just just know that you will whatever you're working on right now it can definitely be entered in the next base off <laughs> so with that i will leave you guys uh i will see you guys tomorrow hopefully for another showcase um and yeah thank you again so much for 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 sticking around watching this and for making base off possible so uh you guys have a great rest of your day and i will catch you in the next one take care everybody